The grunts of the Halo series have always served as frontline cannon fodder on the battlefield and are often looked down upon by other races of the Covenant. <laughs> Often being thought of as cowards and being rather weak individually, these flaws are made up for by their strength in numbers. And it's this and their overall quirkiness that makes them one of my favorite races of the Covenant, and all of this began with the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved. So welcome guys to my breakdown of the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved, and like I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you guys, because these videos are a ton of fun to make, and who doesn't love the grunts, but if you find yourself liking the video, be sure to drop a like on the video, because it helps the video reach more Halo fans, it also means a whole lot to me, but guys, welcome to Live From My Basement, a YouTube channel where I sit here in my basement and talk to you all about all things Halo, I hope you guys enjoy your stay, and now let's dive into my breakdown of the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved. Deployed to the front line in mass, the grunts' strength comes from their overwhelming numbers. Serving as meat for the grinder, the grunts require an elite squad leader to motivate them during battle. For as soon as their commander falls, it's not uncommon to see the grunts run for the hills. It's also not uncommon to catch lazy grunts napping on the job, which is the closest thing Halo Combat Evolved has to stealth sections, where as soon as you make a noise or detected, the fight is on. Or they'll just run away, I don't know, they're grunts. The grunt stands at about 5 feet tall, and a little bit shorter when walking tripedal, which is something we haven't seen since Halo Combat Evolved. Grunts also have very prominent spikes on their elbows and knees, but what will really catch your eye is their battle harness. With large methane tanks strapped to their backs, the grunt's combat harness serves more as environmental protection than standard plate armor. Providing the grunt wearer with methane to simulate their homeworld of Bahalo because grunts can't breathe oxygen like other races of the Covenant. The Halo CE grunt battle harness comes in two distinct designs, one with the classic triangle shape that we all know and love, and another with a curved methane tank with a full metal faceplate which hasn't appeared since Halo Combat Evolved. The grunts of Halo Combat Evolved come in three distinct ranks, beginning with the Grunt Miner, which is the lowest ranking grunt in the Covenant, which is instantly recognizable due to his orange battle harness. If the Grunt Miner excels at anything, it's self-preservation, as they're often the first to flee from battle and practice very basic evade abilities. And as far as weapons you see Grunt Miners wielding in Combat Evolved, it's not uncommon to see them using plasma pistols, the Needler, Plasma grenades, though they don't use them as often as higher ranking grunts. Though the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved don't pilot any vehicles, they are most often seen operating the original shade turret. Moving on now to the Grunt Major, which is instantly recognizable due to his red battle harness. The Grunt Major has more health than the Grunt Miner and is less likely to flee from battle, and though the Grunt Major uses the same weapons as the Grunt Miner, he uses them more effectively, landing more shots and utilizing the plasma grenade more often. Which finally leads us to the highest ranking grunt in Halo Combat Evolved, the instantly recognizable Spec Ops grunt with his black battle harness. This high ranking grunt only goes into combat with Spec Ops elites and does not flee from battle when his officer has been taken down, but does freak out when the Flood gets a hold of him. The Spec Ops grunt uses similar weapons to the other grunt ranks, but does not use plasma pistols but opts to use the more powerful Needler, and is the only grunt that can wield the Fuel Rod Cannon, though once the grunt is killed, the Fuel Rod Cannon explodes, which is unique to Halo Combat Evolved. But at the end of the day, the grunts are one of my favorite gaming enemies ever, and I blame that mostly on everything that the grunts got right in Halo Combat Evolved. Good thing that food nipple's waiting for me at the starship, cause man, oh, if I worked up a big crunchy thirst! But guys, that was my breakdown of the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as you guys can probably tell, I love the grunts of Halo Combat Evolved. I just feel like Halo Combat Evolved, they nailed the grunts just perfectly in their first outing, and I've loved them ever since. The grunts are one of my favorite enemies in any gaming franchise ever. They're just so charming and cute, kinda, and they're fun to blast and murder in their sleep. I know that sounds crazy, but they're just, they're great enemies. They're great cannon fodder, and I've loved them ever since Halo Combat Evolved, so I've been really looking forward to making this video. But guys, what breakdown do you guys want to see next? I need to do the Hunters of Halo Infinite. Do you want to see the Jackals of Halo CE or the Elites of Halo Reach? I plan on doing them all, but let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. This video is a lot of fun, as they always are, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it, because it helps the video reach more Halo fans. It also means a whole lot to me, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.